Today I have a video to help you downsize your home in five steps. I'm not gonna say they're easy steps, but really just five steps. Perhaps you're taking advantage of the lack of inventory in your market. And you no, know in Kansas City we have very low inventory and homes that are going for sale are, are getting a premium and lots of buyers if they're priced correctly. Or maybe you have a family member who is ready to move to a retirement home or sadly a death in the family and you're working on downsizing the home. Or maybe you have kids that are grown up and uh, jumping out of the nest and you don't need the space that you needed before. Whatever the reasons are for downsizing, I've got five steps that you can do that help maintain sanity and get your home downsized and cleaned out as simply as possible. Day one is to inspect the space. See what you need. See who you need to help you. You do not need to do this alone. This is a big job and there are resources out there that can really, really help. So identify what those things are, what the resources are that you need. Lean on folks that might have good information for you, like me or a realtor near you, or someone who's gone through a downsize recently and find out who those resources are. Things that you might need are the following. A hauler or a junk guy, movers, appraisers, estate sale people, charities to take items that you don't want to sell and you want to give away, cleaning services, a storage unit, or consignment shops. I'm gonna put a few links of some of these services in the description so that if you are looking for specific people in Kansas City, I've got a few names. Again, reach out, let, let those people that deal with this often help you find who you need to lean on to get this big job done. Day two, remove the four Ps. Now I got this idea from another organizer and I think it's vital and really very important to take care of before you bring other people into the house because you are the one or you and your family members are the ones that are gonna know what are the most important of these things. The four Ps are paper, photos, prescriptions, and perishables. So there is a ton of value for it, personal value in the paper and photography section. There are also people that can help you sort these things. It, depending on the speed of your move, you may want to go ahead and box all of this up, clearly label it, and move it to a different location, whether it's someone else's home, a storage unit, or a professional who's going to help you sort it. If you have friends or family that are helping you with this move or helping the, um, the person that you're, you're helping, give them a list of things that as they're packing up those papers, important documents and photos that you're looking for. So if you're looking for legal documents or if there's anything in specific that you need to help with the move, have a list of those things for the people who are helping you pack so that you can look through, they can look for those things and identify them and hold them out before those papers or photos are moved to a new location. Again, I'm gonna share in the description a link to a service that will help you organize photos, digitize them, share them with you, that way you can share them with your family uh, and, and have them preserved in a meaningful way rather than just all shoved into a box. And they, they can help preserve them and organized for you. So again, leaning on professionals at this time is really a vital important thing. I think that will really help. You will need to remove the prescriptions and or supplements from the home before you have any other professionals come in, whether those need to be uh, thrown away or taken to a pharmacy for them to throw away or just remove from the home as well as perishables. So any food items needs to go, whether it's to be donated or tossed, refrigerators cleaned out, and any really anything perishable that, that can rot or um, just needs to go. Day three is for picking favorites. So if you're moving to a smaller home or if you're helping someone move to a smaller home, they're gonna probably need some furniture. So today is the day to pick the items that are going to be moved to the new home. It would be helpful to have a blueprint of the home that you're moving into so you can measure to make sure that things will fit in the new home. If you are moving into a um, temporary living space while you're looking for the new home, 
Obviously, you can't do that, but you do need to make sure that the furniture that you're taking with you does fit into whatever home that you're moving into, or perhaps you're going to go put it into a storage unit and tell you can you have that space available. In the event of an estate or you are um, cleaning the house out for an estate sale and family members are going to need to be making decisions about what stays and what what each person gets to keep or want using packers tape is a really great way to label those items don't use regular tape it could leave residue and damage items but having packing tape you can have it in several different colors and label things having a spreadsheet as well just so that somebody is keeping track of those things and making a lot of sense of it and uh, knowing where things are going to move to would be a very valuable um, addition. Day four is packing. Be selective when you're packing. There's no need to pack things that you're not going to need or you don't want anymore. Pack only things that you love and that have use. The last thing you wanna do when you're moving is move clutter to a new home especially if you're downsizing. This is the day that you will probably find you have a lot of trash. So be sure that you are um, is disposing of your trash in a way that makes sense, whether you have ordered a dumpster to be in the front driveway of the home, or if you're just moving things into a certain location that you will be removing for the trash. If you have a trash guy picking things up, have a certain area where you're putting those things so that you keep it separate from the things that you want to keep that you're packing. By the end of this day, you will want to have trash removed and everything packed that will be leaving the house. The only things left in the house are things that you plan to sell or donate. Be sure that you're labeling boxes clearly and efficiently to what might be in the box as well as where it's going. I got in big trouble one move where I labeled things miscellaneous and uh, will say that lived to haunt me. Don't pack liquids or chemicals that could spill and damage other things. That's just a bad idea completely. You may just want to dispose of those things. Day five is moving day. It's important to move the things that you're going to keep out of the house first. That way, you, there is no confusion about where what is going where and you don't end up donating important, valuable, special things that you wanted to keep. You might go ahead and ask if you are hired a hauler or, or a junk guy if they would make two trips. One trip to a donation location so that you could donate those items and another trip just to wherever it is that they're taking the trash. That's an option. Some movers will take things and do two stops and do one stop at a donation location and the next stop to your home or location where you are moving. Be very careful, however, that those things are marked very clearly and it's going to be near impossible for them to donate your cherished items. If you're using an estate sale company or an auctioneer, one of the things to ask as you're interviewing those people in the very beginning is what's the exit strategy? What happens to the things that don't sell? Do those get donated? Do they haul those off? Do they go in the landfill? What happens to those things? And do they do a cleaning crew to clean the home after they're done? You may find that you do need to go ahead and hire your own cleaning crew to clean the home up after the estate sale and or after you've gotten everything else moved out of the house. It's probably a very stressful time and the investment of hiring a cleaning crew to get it done well, efficiently, and quickly would definitely be worth it. Downsizing is no small feat. It's a lot of work. And for whatever reason that you're thinking about making a move, if you are uh, moving to a smaller home because your kids are grown up or you just don't need to take care of as much of a house as you had before or for health reasons or if you're helping move a parent please lean on professionals to help you i am happy to give you a free valuation of your home if you were thinking about um, downsizing and making a move somewhere else let 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 me know and let me know what i can do to help